Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today in this video, I will explain you how we can import tasks into current records with the help of data loader. So in Salesforce, we generally create tasks for the contacts or lead records. So these tasks are nothing but the activities that are being assigned to any contacts. So we can manually assign task to a contact record. Uh, but in case when you have to assign task to multiple or bulk contact record, then it is better to use the Salesforce data loader tool which is efficient in handling the bulk data and with the help of import function in the data loader we will perform this data insertion and uh, before explaining you this i would like to introduce our newly launched the salesforce admin course so first let me show you the course content then we will continue to the topic and also i will mention the course link in the description from where you can access it so first let me show you the course so this is the salesforce admin course and we have posted it on our website and I will also post the link for this course in the description from where you can access this course. So these are the modules that we have covered in this course. So it's a beginner to advanced level Salesforce course and it, there are 9 plus modules and 20 plus hours HD video. And you will also get the PDFs and the certification after the completion. And also there is an offer for 50% discount for the early birds. So, so these are the modules and the contents that you are going to get in this course. And if you subscribe this course right now, you have to pay only $99 instead of $199. So even if you are a beginner, then you will understand each and everything in this course. And to get this course, you can redirect to our website. And from there, you can subscribe to this course. So now let's move back to. Our so right now, I have logged into my Salesforce developer console. And from App Launcher, I will navigate to the contacts tab where I will show you the task in the contact records. And here in the contact records, I will open a contact. And in the activity section of this contact record, there is a new task button. As you click on this new task button, you will see this field and from and from here you have to enter the fields and you can create a task for this contact record. But when you have to assign task for the multiple contact records, for that it is better to use the Salesforce data loader tool. So in order to import the task for multiple contact record, we first need to create a CSV file. So first let me show you how we will create that CSV file. So in the CSV file, we will create the header column, who ID, then what ID, and the third column will be the honor ID. And in the fourth one, it will be the status. It will show the status of the task. And the last header column is subject. And it is optional to add the subject column. And this subject column will show the description of the task. But it is better to, but it will be better if we will add this uh, description column that is subject. So to get the who ID, what ID, honor ID, we will run a data export operation from the data loader. So to get the who ID, what ID and the owner ID, that is the account ID, contact ID and the account owner ID, we will run a data export operation. For that, click on the export button. And here I will log in with my credentials. And after logging, we will see this second window. So here we have to select the data object. So we will select the data object contact. And then we will select the location for the extract file. And after that, click on the next button. And here we have to select the uh, query fields. So here we will, and in this step, we have to select the query field. So we will select the fields ID. It is going to be the who ID. And for the what ID, we have to select the account field. That is, sorry, account ID. And then owner ID. And for the reference, we will select the name field. And after selecting the query fields, click on the finish button and here click yes to proceed. So we have successfully extracted the data of the contact records. Here click on the button view of extraction and in the data loader CSV viewer, click on the button open in external program. So here we got the ID, account ID, owner ID of the contact records. So here I will select this. So here I will select this contact record for which I will import the tasks. So from here we will copy the IDs and then go back to the CSV file that we are creating and in the who ID column we will paste the ID of the contacts and in the what ID we will copy paste the account IDs and in the same way we have to copy paste the owner ID also. So we could have done in the single copy paste operation because they are in sequence and in the status column we have to enter the value completed for all the task records and in the subject column we have to write the description of that task so now i have also entered the subject of the task so as of now our csv file is completed now we will save this csv file in our system from where it can be accessed to the data loader 
and make sure that you save this file in the csv format so after creating the csv file we are going to perform a data import operation for that i will again open the data loader tool and here i will close this previous data export operation and this time we will click on the insert button and in the second step we will activate the checkbox show all salesforce object then search and select the data object task and after this browse and select the csv file that we have created right now and after selecting the csv file click on the next button and as we click on the next button the data loader will initialize the csv file and then display the number of rows of csv file here click on the ok button to continue and in this step we have to do the mapping between the header columns of csv file and the salesforce object field names so for that click on the button create or edit a map and in the mapping dialog window click on the button auto match field to columns and after this you can see that the csv header columns are auto matched with the salesforce object field names and in case they are not auto matched then you have to drag the salesforce object field down to the column mapping and after mapping click on the ok button and then click next and in the last window you have to select the location for the error and the success file that we can analyze or access later and at last click on the finish button as we click on the finish button we will get a warning regarding the data insertion here click on the yes button to proceed so now the data insertion is started and here we got three successful insert and two errors so first we will check the errors so here so here the error is showing that the owner of the task is an inactive user so make sure the owner id that you are selecting should be of an activated user and now we will see the successful insertions so here we can see these three tasks are successfully created and from here i will also show you the task that is being created in the contact record so from app launcher i will again navigate to the contacts tab so right now i am in the contacts tab and the one of the records in which we have assigned the uh, task is this one and it's uh, and it is the id of that record and let me check the csv file and this is the id and that record name is andy young so i will search this contact record in the developer console and now we will open this contact record and here we will go to the activity section and in the activity section we can see the task and it is showing that it is assigned today so in this way we can import task or events into the current records with the help of salesforce data loader tool and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye